Up. So, yeah, I can absolutely see why uh, the money's come from her and she's drawn barrier one. It just seems a place to be uh, today on the fence and uh, not too far away. So Nashville Willow will no doubt want to kick up and uh, hold a spot on her. Well, Zardozzi, uh, she is a, an Oaks winner. Did she put her hand up as a Caulfield Cup chance? She could even be a Cox Plate chance or maybe even the Golden Eagle as a four-year-old. Here we go, the Chelmsford. So it stakes over the mile. Ready. Set to go. And they're racing and hinge jump well off the inside. So to the favourite Zardozzi. Just fine showing plenty of master and buckaroo being sent forward together with Poptronic. They're followed behind the speed to Adelaide River, non-conformist, military mission. Francesco Guardi and Athabaskan's been taken back to last. Just fine revved up, going forward wide out. And it's Just Fine and Buckaroo vying for the early lead. And the import Poptronic races up on the outside of Hinge. Two further back to non-conformer. Zardozzi jumped well, but McDonald was happy to just sit back midfield and get some cover. Two lengths further back then to Adelaide River and advance at military mission. Francesco Guardi and two off to Athabaskan. Just Fine controls the speed of the race now at the 800 metres by a neat length on Buckaroo. Two and a half further back to Poptronic, racing on the outside of Hinged. A length end of the favourite, Zardozzi given every hope on the outside of non-conformist. Two off to Adelaide River from military mission, Francesco Guardi and Athabaskans last of all. Inside the 550, just fine, still rolling from Buckaroo. Now Hinged is coming away from the rails, giving chase, revved up. Couple further back to Zardozzi, has got uh, plenty of work to do as they come up the rise and Buckaroo now heads off just fine with Hinge chosen chasing hard. Zardozzi as well. Further back to non-conformist and Adelaide River getting to the outside but Buckaroo's going well. Buckaroo at the 150. A length and a half to Hinge just fine. Buckaroo in front of Hinge. It's Buckaroo trying to cling on from Hinge. She'll make one last lunge for her finish here. Buckaroo trying to cling on from Hinge. We'll leave it to the judge there. Camera third. Adelaide River non-conformist. Zardozzi didn't finish off. Then came Athabaskan, Francesco Guardi just fine. Then Poptronic and Military Mission. Well, Chris Waller will win his seventh Chelmsford, if you don't mind. It looks buckaroo, but oh boy, Hinge gave a nice little lunge right on the line. Nonconformist runs third. Zardozzi disappointing, but maybe the way the track's playing, you've got to be towards the paint. Now, uh, buckaroo, did he need one more? No, he didn't. He ran really well, but Hinge has put the nose down to make it close. But you sense it is Buckaroo that gets there. Buckaroo will win. Tommy Berry wins for Chris Waller. And Katie, um, Buckaroo went forward. I loved his run first up. When he got way out of his ground today, he bounced towards the front. Yeah, he really relished that. And, he, and Tommy, a great ride, obviously. He's playing to, towards the, the track and you have to be sort of close to the fence and, and thereabouts. He rolled along and having that run under his belt just held him in good stead here. The Fastnet Rock six-year-old buckaroo and, oh, God bless her little cotton socks hinge. She still hasn't won in such a long time. Looked like she had buckaroo there on toast, but uh, wasn't to be today. And I suppose the disappointing run there that had the run of the race, but just probably the track conditions is uh, Dozy Richo. Yeah, well, that's going to be the big issue, Lizzie. Uh, is it the track? Keep in mind, have a look at Adelaide River's outside Zardozzi uh, and